Assalamu alaikum, namaste, satsakal, shalom and good day. You are listening to Awaz Community Radio. Your host for today is Saira and today we'll be talking to the big life people. Now for our contact details, we're on Facebook. Just type in Awaz Community Radio or tweet us at Awaz Radio 122. We can be phoned, of course, the old-fashioned way 0161. 839-9817 and also we're on email. Just email us awazcommunityradio at gmail.com Thank you for tuning in to Awaz Community Radio. As I said, my guests for today are from the Big Live team. Welcome Vicky and Sean. Hi ladies. Hi. Hi. Thank you so much for coming in. Now, Vicky, you are the nursery manager for Cheetham Park. That's correct, yeah. And Sean, you're the development manager for Big Life. I am. So, uh, Vicky, would you like to tell us a little bit about why you're here today? Yeah, I'm here to promote some nursery places within our Big Life Nurseries Cheetham Park sites located within Cheetham Park. We're a 90-place daycare setting, also offering after-school places. We range from six months to five years. Um, serving the local community, supporting working parents, offering funded places for children and potentially within September increasing to the free 30 hours funded places. We do currently have some places available so we're here to offer offer those to see uh, if there's anyone out there really that needs our support because we're a whole family approach not just looking after children. We uh, offer lots of different ways of supporting the family. That sounds great. I mean, I mean, uh, the feedback we get from our listeners is, you know, there's a real uh, demand for places. So I'm so glad you've come on to tell our listeners this. Yeah, no, there is a huge demand. Um, and we are a large nursery setting and we are slowly increasing to full capacity. Um, it's We just need to get the word out there that we are here. Um, and you know, please feel free to call into our centre to express your interest. We do take children on at any stage of the year primarily January April and September so April's round the corner so that's one going to be one of our large intakes and and September is the biggest of any year to intake but obviously with the babies and any working family we do intake at any point of the year that'll be really important to working parents to hear that oh yes I can imagine it, it's always you know a necessity to find a nursery place of good standard and good quality um when when looking for a nursery to when you are going back to work and it's a good location easy to access it is we are based within Cheetham Park uh, on the corner of Elizabeth Street and Cheatwood Road we are located within the local children's centre so you can't miss us and so what's the relationship between Cheetham Park Nursery and the school so we are linked in with Unity Community Primary School, which also is a big life school. So we do do some partnership work in terms of after school club. We do serve another two primary schools within the area, but we are linked in with Unity. We also share um, some information. We share um, education tips, good practice. So the early years teacher will come over to um, our setting just to support the staff and it helps with the transition with those children going to school any school we've got that information we've got that support with the school so it helps enable our three-year-olds to be prepared for that big milestone that occurs in September as a parent I can relate to that that it's it's good to find a nursery that helps um, show you the path that your child can take the next steps yeah of course and it's also about give it it's empowering the staff to be able to support parents in terms of home learning what activities can they do to support their children at home to get them ready um, more importantly we had the head teacher come over to our nursery to support our parents with applying for that all-important decision what school should you be applying for for September uh, so we do have a lot of support from the school um, in, in supporting our parents and empowering staff. Um, it is going to be important just before September when we transition the children over to school where we'd link in, we'd go and visit the school, we'll link in with the teachers to invite them to our nursery setting to meet the children so it's not that, that big daunting scary experience, it's, it's just a straightforward transition from nursery to school. 
Now, how can listeners contact you um, if they have any more questions about the nursery? Please feel free to drop in. Um, we are on Cheatwood Road, M88 AQ. Telephone number 0161 227 3559. Or we are on Facebook. Just look up Big Life Nurseries Manchester. Please like us and see what our local posts are uh, within the five nurseries. We're always sharing exciting activities. <laughs> Brilliant. So are there places also available at the school? Yeah, and before we go on to the school, can I just... um, um, I work across the school and nursery. What I've been out and about um, speaking to parents, one of the things they asked me is... When what wh- how am I entitled to my free place or something? It, this is a great opportunity for us to get N- Vicky to tell us what a free education place, nursery education place is. When you're entitled to it, when you apply for it, and I think there's so much confusion out there. People aren't aren't coming forward, so this is a great opportunity for Vicky to clear it up. So in order to be eligible, we have the 15 hours three year old funding, in which any three year old is entitled, and it is all always the term after your child turns three. With the two-year-old funding, again, it is always the term after your child turns two, but it's for children whose families are in receipt of certain benefits, low income. Um, parents on, on quite a low income, is it 16,000, yeah, 16, around 16,001 yeah. pound? I don't know what the one pound's about. I think it's 190 pounds. Oh, is it? But I mean, the best place to go and double check that would be go into your local government website. So it would be manchester.gov.uk and look up free childcare places under the heading of two-year-old funded. You can then do a free eligibility checker, which would then give you a voucher, which you'd print off and take to any nursery setting. You also may receive what we call the golden ticket. So that is a yellow letter that comes to you in the post telling you that you are entitled and you just present that at your local nursery setting as well. That's great that you have that information to give to people because, um, like you said, Sean, you know, people are very confused. There's a lot of information flying around. You know, your neighbour might say one thing, your auntie might tell you another. Um, but it's great that people can just approach, you, you know, the nursery and just ask for the information they need. I mean, if you are, you know, if any parent is ever confused about that, please feel free just to give us a call and we'll be able to, you know, support you with finding out if you are eligible. That's what we're here for. Thank you, Vicky, because that's one of the, the areas that time and time again I get asked when I'm out about out and about. So about Unity, Unity Community Primary on Alice Drive, our fantastic new primary school. Um, yes, we do have places available at the moment. It's a new school, so every year we open up a new form and we grow each year. So um, this year we still have places for year two and year three available now you you can because it's midterm actually just call into the school and speak to jess who's the administrator on 0161 871 2614 and she will direct and guide you on how to apply for those places i mean we have a lot of new arrivals people who've not been able to get their children into school so please come and if we can't help you or it's not suitable for you you to come to our school we will help you to find a suitable school your child's education is the most important thing but today i'm on here to talk about uh the official opening of this fabulous new school it's on tuesday the 28th of march between 2 and 4 p.m. and we'd love you to come and come and have a look at the school um, the staff will be there the students will be serenading you with some steel pan music we've arranged guided tours with the board members so you'll be able to speak to the board members and have a tour of of, of the actual school it, it's an amazing space I still can't believe that we're so blessed to have so much outdoor space in, you know, a built up urban area. But more importantly, and oh, just as importantly, we're relaunching our community offer. Previously, we worked out the Cheatwood Centre, which has now been incorporated into this new amazing school building. So on the day, we'll be launching our big chance offer 
which, as you discussed, Syra, is, you know, um, getting back into work or in deployment. It's a journey. We work with parents around confidence building, basic skills, functional skills, move on to um, vocational courses into work experience. And we do have, we will have an on the um, on site um, employment offer from our skills for employment, uh, help you with job searches and all, and really look at the barriers that you have to getting into sustainable employment. We've also partnered with a local college and we're delighted that we will be bringing a full training offer delivered from the centre so you don't need to travel outside. We do want people to go and access training externally but for many of those first steps it's just too far. We need, I think around when we get people to level two, level three then they're ready to go on to higher education or further education. And um, volunteering. Um, our company has been built on volunteering. We're about, you know, working with local people to change. And very timely, I do have a course running in Cheatham. It'll be running on the 16th and 17th of March at Big Life Nurseries Cheatham. So that's from 9.15 to 2.45. Within school hours, we're really considerate of that. And I would say, if I go back to all our training and support that all happens within school hours and we also work very closely with big life nurseries so the parents who are accessing the free 15 hours we streamline the courses to coincide so that removes the barrier of childcare which for as any mother knows it, 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 it it's a real barrier we don't have huge resources but we can work very closely together to overcome that just a last plug for the official opening on the 28th of March. Lots of stall. All your housing providers will be there. We'll have health. Health is a big issue locally. Um, we know we're working with the children around certain health issues, dental, obesity. But let's work with the family. So Buzz, the new um, NHS health teams are coming down there. We'll have people to talk about our, our environmental impact and you can also have a mini massage on the day and create a bit of a collaborative piece of art with us. I've got to mention, if you are interested in doing the volunteer course, it's a two-day accredited course. You can. My name is Sean, as we said at the beginning of the interview. Um, text or contact me on my mobile number 07917 um, together we can make a difference in this community. Thank you. Thank you so much to Vicky and Sean for coming in. Thank you, ladies. It's been really great to hear about what you're providing in the local area. And I think a lot of our listeners who are parents um, or who will know other parents will be really keen to, you know, get more information about this and hopefully um, attend this fantastic open day that you're having, this you open day. Oh, we're, I'm planning to be there, definitely. I, I can't not be there. It's just across the road. <laughs> And I'm really pleased that Cheatwood Centre is continuing, you know, um, because it was offering so much before and it was a part of the community. So really glad to hear it's carrying on. So thank you very much, Vicky, and thank you, Sean. Thank, thank you. you. You've been listening to Awas Community Radio with your host, Syra, and our contact details if you want any more information about this or any other topic. Um, on, we're on Twitter. Just uh, Our handle is at Awas Radio 122. We're on Facebook. Just type in Awas Community Radio or give us a call 0161 839 9817. Thank you for listening. Take care. Have a great day.